Hello and welcome. I'm Daniel LaRue, and today I am going to show you the creatures found while diving in June 2018. The rainbow smelt is a small type of schooling fish commonly seen in the intertidal zone. The common sea star is another creature commonly seen. They are found often in tide pools and can grow to quite a large size. They have five arms and are echinoderms, which means spiny skinned animals. Here's our dive partner, Dan LaRue. He is, um, often comes with us diving, and he is one of our sports consult sport, outdoor sports consultants on Marine Vet Dam Productions. If you have questions on hunting, fishing, or camping, he's the guy to go to. As you can see, this area is filled with eelgrass, a species of aquatic plant that is often seen in marsh areas. Eelgrass is can be quite thick and most often grows through mud flats. These species are called moon snails. Moon snails are large snails that are actually carnivorous. They feed on small creatures, small invertebrates typically, and other times they feed on things that fall to the bottom of the ocean. These snails are related to dog whelks, which are also carnivorous, and they're smaller cousins of the periwinkles, which are herbivorous or feed on aquatic plants and algae. Now these species are not too often seen on rocky bottoms, only occasionally. They like to inhabit sandy bottoms and often leave sand collars behind, which is sand stuck together in a round formation because of all the mucus they secrete. These snails actually have to squeeze water out of their body to fit back into their shells because they are such a large species. Now. Other than the moon snails and other mollusks, we have the green crab, which is a crustacean. The green crab, although invasive and from Europe, is actually one of the most common species found along the east coast of North America. This species feeds on small animals, such as periwinkles, and scavengers as well, such as the American lobster, one of the largest scavenging creatures that you will find on the ocean floor. The American lobster is a very common species along the east coast of America. They are one of the most popular species as seafood in Maine, because Maine is one of the largest producers of lobster. Here you can see they eat uh, green crabs and whatever comes near their burrow. American lobsters use those feelers, or antenna, that they use. Those can actually taste and sense different things in the water, such as temperature. Lobsters usually inhabit small caves, and the juveniles can live under, under rocks and tide pools and around other areas of the east coast. Lobsters are mostly a rocky substrate species, unlike the moon snails. There's two types of coast, rocky and uh, sandy substrates. Here in uh, Maine, we have mostly sandy, except for here. And as you can see, lobsters uh, cannot see behind them. So that is the best way to catch them. So the thing about lobsters is they actually swim backwards, though. A pretty amazing feature for a creature. Now, lobsters, when they swim, they flick their tail, and that propels them backwards. The reason they go this way is the claws can face out of their cave when they swim back into it. This will deter any predators or larger animals from coming after them. A very clever technique for a very simple creature. I hope you enjoyed our guide to creatures on the East Coast on the dives in, July, in June 2018, and I hope you have a good day. This is Marine Vet Dan from Marine Vet Dan Productions.